this rival organization, we still have to confront that political reality. Uh -huh. It's there. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Powell. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I have the right question. I mean, I mean yeah, I what you're talking about is what really is what my concern is that education really or just getting people involved and want to be into art, you know, and, and come out and support the artist and, and actually, you know, find people who actually want to buy the art. You know, I mean, I, I'm, you know, I find myself like I'm, I consider myself an artist who's black. And that's a that black artist for the most part. And but I find these walls, you know, uh, where because my, my work has brown and black people in it for the most part, because that's my experience, so that's what turns me on. So, you know, for the most part, then I then I, I get trapped out of certain venues that, you know, may not be really open to that because, you know, I can go to the show and see white figures all over the place, but it's not considered white art. <coughs> and I always feel like that's just like, it's, you know, it's obviously, it's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a cultural problem that, 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 that we deal with, but uh, but venues is, is a big thing. It's trying to find, but, you know, <coughs> places to, to show, or yeah. even knowing about them. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'm already finding this is helpful because what you're saying, Tony, is, you know, like, we need to turn each other on to, to what's mm -hmm. going on, what's, uh, you know, possible because I'm a novice pretty much you know I still make my living as a commercial artist so you know and I have to yeah. but I would love to be doing nothing but painting mm -hmm. yeah and that's just, you know I'm just striving to find out I mean, I'm sorry to cut no no go ahead um, live in workspaces <coughs> I think what we're I think most of our most of we're still in the 60s and 50s, but, you know, this is 2011. You know, we need to bring technology into selling our work. And I think most of us are on, like, Facebook, and that's probably as far as we go, as far as using the technology to, to get our work out there. But there are other words, like, Kente's got his show, and I, I've been listening to it, and it's... Um, you know that's that's a vehicle to it for exposure mm -hmm. for for a, a lot of us, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you yeah. uh, as artists is probably he's probably interviewed already. Uh -huh. But I think if if there was one central location, live in workspaces, and and we all as a group maybe rent studio space there, mm -hmm. you know. Um, at prices that we could afford as, as artists, you know, and uh, we could, um, there's the there's the education part where we would you could bring school children around during the day, you know, watching the artists work, and then you could sponsor your own shows because there will be gallery <coughs> spaces there, um, but the problem is where we find that space big enough where a lot of us could work if. If I guarantee you, if you had a com a community of a group of us like this, and you found a big enough space where there where there could be um, live-in workspaces where artists work all the time, mm -hmm. that would be a major statement in L.A. Mm -hmm. as far as as far <coughs> as minority artists going and bringing school kids around, mm -hmm. that would that would spread like wildfire. Can I ask a question? Are you uh it sounds like part of what you're asking is, can we have, how can we have more St. Elmo's? Yeah, it's not yeah, that these things yeah. don't exist. It's just how, how that can we, we have need more St. Elmo's. A bigger, a bigger. We, we need more communicative Maybe, arts right. academies. We need, right. but, 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 but the other thing is, and what I think I've heard, and what I've even seen in the perspectives is, for individual artists completely, there's almost, it's very hard to get funding as an individual artist right, to get money. Right. With the exception of a few foundations, it's very hard to get. So if, if the direction of part of where they're going was to be able to help get funding so that individual artists could have it to, to try and focus some time on some work. You shouldn't just have to be able to get a Durfee grant as the only source or that you have to be raised so high that you now get the USA Artist Grant. Yeah. Somewhere in between, something yeah. for the merging. That's, that's a fundamental. Merging. Yeah. 
That's a fundamental <laughs> part. Of your staff. Well, no, no. I said merging in mid-career, not from mid -career. the career ages, yeah. but yeah. the way the art world may or may not be yeah. viewed. But we could just say like a mid-tier grant. I mean, something that's like between five and ten thousand dollars that someone mm -hmm. could apply for. Mm -hmm. um, that you know is unrestricted. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, your endowment. I think for you to like gain your street cred outside of your foundational cred. You would have to, people would have to know that they got money from you and that they mm -hmm. could use it and do something that they might not have been able to get out of there. Mm -hmm. And Charmaine is right, I mean, there's not a lot of money. Yeah. And you know, $1,000, $5,000, $10,000 in LA mm -hmm. that you can apply for. I mean, those, the foundations are all in New York City. Or okay. Primarily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the perfect opportunity is right now the. I'd say 60% of that 1% live in Los Angeles. And they got to be feeling pretty guilty by now. So you hit them up for money. You know? they, and they'll, they'll give you the money just to get you off, off their back. Yeah. He wants you guys to have a protest wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we, can we go around to the next but, um, person? You know, can we go to the next person? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can hear all the concerns, yeah. and then we can have some more conversation. Mm -hmm. um, who's next? I, I, I mean, right. I just want to say that, uh, touch on something that Wait. you said. Um, I'm horrible with names, sorry. Um, that I think as artists who are working artists, um, we have to start defining ourselves as artists in the first place, not just because we have a day job that is a means to an end. I mean, a lot of us do. Um, but our, we only have those jobs primarily because we want to create, you know, pay for our studios or our supplies and do what we do. Um, and I mean, I think it starts with seeing ourselves as commodities and viable, viable um, creative people in the world. Um, and the, the idea of, of, of color and um, defining your art is, is kind of like that gray area. It's just good if it's good. It's great if it's great. And um, your skin, of course, and your, your way that you, you move in the world, of course, affects the work, your work that, that, that you produce. Um, and that will tell the story. Um, to market yourself as a black artist um, or a white artist is, I mean, I don't do it. I just I, I market myself as an artist who's telling a story. And primarily, we tell our own stories, and someone else connects to it. And they go, oh, well, you know, I see something, and, and it's a rich print for something else. But it's just about supporting, finding a way to support great work, or what you see in, in, in blossoming as great work. So the problem with the grant system is that the, the boards change. There's some material. It's like one week it's video, the next week it's, you know, assemblage, or whoever is on the, on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if you have to get it, you know, get it, hit the nail on the head when that person is, is, is fighting for your work, you, you, it's a clo and also it's just a closed system. You're not there, maybe at the fourth wall, watching them go through the debate of, you know, is your proposal, is your proposal, your grant, your grant proposal um, being, being discussed in a way that, that's productive, <laughs> and not just someone say, oh, well, this person has, we've seen him 14 times, let's give him the grant, mm -hmm. whether or not the work is good or not. Yeah. But if the work is good and they, they, you apply one year, then give it up. Um, I, I, you never know right. when and how people are judging your work. Not that you really want to, but right. <laughs> um, it's just of that process. It's like, can, can the process be open? It's like, well, if you applied and it's limited to 500 people, well, you have to put the work into maybe you know, inviting the 500 artists at some point to say, okay, we're going to review your work today and see what merits your work, um, they see in your work, and just have an open forum. Mm -hmm. This is it's such a closed um, uh, um, operation that you never know, and it's kind of disheartening to do it a year after year after year, and the time and energy that it, it, it takes to do it. It takes time out from your work, and it, depending on your emotional state during... <laughs> Your the application when you either get the letter that says you know hey thank you but no thank you or you don't get a letter and nothing um, it, there has to be so a sort of an open forum for this. I was asked to be a juror uh, at uh, Cal State Northridge and one of the things that the three jurors agreed to do was to write our criteria and post that for the artists. What we can what, what considerations we 
uh, went through, what, um, what process we went through in deciding what pieces were going to be in the show. And, you know, I, the whole mystery has always just been, you know, something I, I, I've always hated. So we wanted to just address that so you wouldn't feel, at least you get some feedback. Where are these artists coming from? What is your standard? You know, is it from an academic? Is it intuitive? What, you know, what, what, what standards are you using? So I think maybe demanding that from yeah. organizations that are issuing these grants, you know, to really break it down, why they reject it and why they accept it. Well, mm -hmm. for, for mm -hmm. primarily mm -hmm. what the, yeah. what the criteria is to apply. If you're, if you're looking only at, at, <coughs> at, at, at um, multimedia video art, then a sculptor who is in the traditional vein really shouldn't apply for that, right? And then it can move on to either continue working or find a grant that supports that. Mm -hmm. And just making that making it so clear that you, you're not involved, involving yourself in spinning your own wheels. 